Hello, welcome back. Let's make sure I don't want to see things went bad last time. Zaz tried to kill peeps, and we decided we thought we'd break it up. We should have gotten the phone, but it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I tried, tried to, to stop it. That the whole thing was that sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. I wasn't. I had to save him. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. <gasps> Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Gordon! Seems you have a visitor. Alfred! My boy! Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. Okay, I think opinion. I'll get a second opinion. Yeah. I'm sure you can afford the one you like. Okay. Let's go, Alfred. Hmm. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. What's that about? Well, see you, Joker. <clears throat> that was fun. Already out of outcome. I thought we were gonna have like a prison break thing. That would have been cool. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. Need the all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Dropped. Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. So many people angry at me. Entire family. I just hope I can turn it around. I'm sure you'll figure something out. You always do. Maybe. Maybe. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want? Oh. The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out eventually. Back and off, by Harvey. Then it'll be too late. Just leave me the hell alone, Harvey. Trust me, it'll be easier for you in the long run. I was doing you a favor, Bruce. If you want to get ugly, sorry, that Harvey. Who absolutely would do last time? But the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack. And people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. Harvey, I'm gonna take you down. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. This isn't you. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Two it says two faced now. You keep running around scot free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare no me your Harvey. will of the people, crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend to let go. wouldn't have done that. You need to let that situation go, Harvey. You have way bigger problems on your plate. Of course you would think that. So I just ditched the playman. Oh no. Bruce! Bruce! We're done talking. Yes, we are. Oh. What's going on here? Is he set up checkpoints? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne, you 
You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much. Hmm? Oh, Maybe are we gonna have to whoop them? This. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into warrant? custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Come on, what's the thing. damn hold up? Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! Bruce! Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God. Uh... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. What? We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Oh, that's it. Can we end them? won't be a warning shot! Oh, yes. All right. Now, the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice. Pretty well. You could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well funded. Hmm? And well armed? What do you say? Hmm. They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Should we take on the mob Mayor's ourselves? Or? About this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us. Back up, back up. Two people. Bruce, hey. Your father committed innocent people to Arkham and made sure they stay there for the rest of their life. Rum, life. Rum, good rum, rum, the rum. This isn't the Batmobile. Just do it, Alfred. Hey! Yes! Prison break. <laughs> oh, no. I've been making poor choice decisions so far. I should have paid him off. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. It's not wrong. I'm not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? I got you us. You need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write mm -hmm. checks you can't. Didn't really cash. need the protecting, but. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So yeah. you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. It's Bruce. not really wrong. The night was a lot of fun, but not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? Harvey won't. Okay. Don't you think you're being. Just a little over dramatic. Harvey wouldn't kill you. No? Look what he's done to you. And you're the type of person who shows up in headlines. He could have me killed and no one would ever know. Mm, she's not wrong. So where are you gonna go? I've got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. Let me say bye, Bruce. See you around. Good luck with all of this. Well, everything went downhill real fast. Selena's gone. Harvey's two face. At least Joker showed up. That makes me happy. Oh, good. We're not done. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. You're not wrong, Alfred. 
Harvey is turning Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to Which work. order? Probably. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. Feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. Come on, Alfred. Bruce, you look awful. Lucius, I forgot. I asked you. He's had a I? very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. I'm on it. If we can isolate the presence nope. of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Oh, cool. Let's start with the DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Cool. Drug molecule. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. This Here's is my DNA before the incident. Seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. Yeah. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Hmm. Actually, I think this is right. No, actually. That looks better. Yeah. There we go. That, that was quick. Do it. Oh. Grab. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. <laughs> Thanks, Elf. Oh god. Be good now, Bruce. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Looks like some still left in it. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky Lady Arkham has been up to while I've been away. Yeah, it seems important. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. Yeah. She betrayed you. The evil She's person. a monster. To do what she did. She has no sense of morality. She was playing me the entire time. I, I think time, I pressed the wrong button. Breaking me down. She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's yeah. true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. Whooped her once. I uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No. No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He's not trustworthy, he of course not. If I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Shouldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Yep. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. All right. 
I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Huh. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Mm -hmm. Well, see you in the next video. Hello and welcome back to this game of Joy's Legacy. Yep, Gotham Pites. Gonna Vic meet Vicky Vale's parents. Whoop whoop. Are coming as Bruce or as Batman? Coming as Batman. I'm inside the Vale House. Is that? Hmm. But Vicky, did Vicky really kill her adopted parents? Alfred, the Vales are dead. One body confirmed, but there was a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Oh, God. Her eyes. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. I can say that, Alfie. There's an injection the drug. in the other neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, <coughs> but this one's much worse. Hmm. Nightwind. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's potentially a lethal. This seems personal. Version. Same device, same drug. What's going on with this? This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows hmm. the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Yeah, so I was about to say. Hmm. Looks like where they will find the children of Arkham. Oh no. Knife bloody. It's clean. Yeah. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. So I thought. But why was it lying on the floor? Someone tried to defend themselves. What's going to be in the pantry? It's a body, isn't it? Alfred. Has he been strung up? Vale. Alive. No. He's gone. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Mm. Looks like a company logo. The is belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. I'm guessing that means Vicky was hit as a child. Vale abused her, maybe? The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. You know and what their target is yet? Yeah. Something else. Yeah, that's. What's this? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle. Probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. Hair evidence. Lock of hair. Belt. Knife. Care. Big music of the pieces. Ah! I know. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife. But only managed to Just slice through the attacker's hair. Yeah. 
any individual cutscenes, no. No. Maybe something over here. Here we go. What strange things are we gonna find inside the tr What's this? It's a letter from Gotham Social Services about a monthly stipend for foster parents. Vicky's a bit old for that, isn't she? It's not for Vicky. They have a boy. Yeah. This must be Vicky shortly after she was adopted. She looks really sad. What to examine now? Anything else on the body? Can't cancel ones that are correct or true, so. Do I have any other links? Just linking the. No. What am I missing? Oh, I'll see you once I found it. Here we go. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Mm -hmm. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. There we go. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with it during the attack. What exactly happened in that house? I think I know. After we mm -hmm. stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do yeah. that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity on Lady Arkham. Seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Yeah. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. That's horrific! She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Oh, huh? I think someone's still in the house. It's Going the to kid. Heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. <laughs> it's that kid. Is, that, is he in the... He's hiding in the drawers. Clear. Nothing here. Small child. Anything? You're a sailor? No. Must be upstairs. Or is he hiding under the stairs? There's someone here, under the stairs, alive. That's the worst hidden battle I've ever seen. It's like so obvious that's a hidden panel. <laughs> Hello. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. Guess he was from, from the veils. More about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. 
really need to know more. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be okay. Gonna be alright. Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary, but I need your help. Can you do that? Okay. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Yeah, I'm guessing the veils were abusive. What is that? Get down! Suck a drone! Bulletproof cape. Batarang or flash bomb bang. Oh no. <laughs> Share the same opinion. No. Oh, X. Take this. Do 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 Get wrecked. Good job. Nice work, kid. Let's pick him. Let's, let's hopefully get him feeling uh, awkward. Don't. They're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong place to back up. I'm so sorry that I couldn't save your parents. Is he going to be happy? Sorry. I promise I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman. And no matter what happens, no matter where there you go. go, that will always be true. And I will always owe you one. God. He was the only survivor. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter Vicky is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? And so, who is the boy then? Lives that here. boy was the Vale's adopted son. According to the papers I found, they were receiving a pretty significant stipend. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. I can't confirm anything, but it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. There we go. For the, heads up. the warehouse is very You're welcome. Building. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant, what's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. I'm taking over this investigation. Good. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. 
<laughs> See you in the next episode.